All right, so this video show you how to recalculate the expected value from an observed value. So, for example, you have this problem where you have two species of buttercup A and B. One of them accumulate nickel, the other one is not. And then you grow them in two different plots and then one of uh one plot you treat with three gram of nickel okay um after three months germination you get this so this is yeah observe observe value so some student asks, okay, where do you get the observed value from? Or just whatever value that you get from from your experiment. Okay, now what you have to do is calculate your expected values from, from these observed value. Um, and it is quite simple. So, expected value. Um, let's go right, let's go down here. Pretty much what you would do is you would add everything up. So, let's say you have three, 486 plants here, 608 plants here. So, in total, For species A, you are having um, 1,000, 1,000, oh, I'm doing some mental math here, 096, yeah, might be doing it wrong, yeah, doesn't matter. And for species B, in total you have this and this, so you would have 699 plants, okay? Uh, you do the same thing with your other value. All right, so you add an untreated plot, and you have this many plants. You added all the treated plots, you have this many. And then you add them all together. This is your grand total. So in total, you have 1793. Well, so pretty much to check this plus this should equal this plus this, and it should equal this. Okay, so you have your... Once you add them together, now you can calculate your expected value. And pretty much your expected value is just the probability of if this was random, what probability of getting H would you get? So here, I'm just going to say I'm calculating expected value so instead of the observed value, all right? Instead of an observed value here, I am calculating the expected value. So I'm just going to have the same window. Mind you, these values are from the observed value. And in this box, because these things are random, you should be able to get some number as a percentage of the total, right? So you would take 1, 0, 7, 0, which is this value, multiply by this value right here, which is 1, 0, 9, 4, all of that, divided by your total here, which is 1, 7, 9, 3. Okay, so I'm going to say... One seven nine three. Okay, 
all, all the other box, you would do the exact same thing, but with a different value. So this box right here, you're going to have the same 1790. But instead of multiply by this number, no, you're not going to do that. You're going to know multiply by this number for this row because you, you're talking about a percentage of that row, right? So you say 699 divided once again by the total. Um, do another one for this one. So this one, instead of doing 1070, no, you're not. You're going to use this number right here because it's a part of that row. So you're going to say 723, multiply by that, divide by that, okay? And last but not least, uh, this box in the bottom here, again, I'm not going to use the value 1070. I'm going to use this value of your row. So 723 multiplied by all that. Okay? So then that will give you your expected value.